Deep plug. Right. Okay. You want to introduce yourself? Hello. Oh, hello. I'm uh, <laughs> Keith Mackay. I'm the team manager, which is the person that everybody shouts at when things go wrong for uh, Man TTX Racing. Are you the bike is. Uh, yeah, well, we'll call it the X2 because it's got two engines. Um, the, it doesn't look like much at the moment, as you can see, because all the body works away from getting sprayed up for race week. Uh, we were taking it extremely steady there. Um, there's, one of the, there's a slight problem with one of the components that Andy wants to check out. So uh, I was under strict instructions to go easy, and he had firearms available if I didn't. So that was very steady. But it's uh, fantastic. The handle's good. Brakes good. Um, you can feel it really wants to go. I was just itching to give it a little bit there, you know. I can see the excitement <laughs> when you're giving it. <laughs> no, great. Yeah, happy days. So, um, yeah, the plan now is back to Ramsey, uh, tidy up some of the wiring, uh, get the bodywork back on. Um, we'll do what we can to help Andy uh, isolate this little electrical problem he's got, and then Monday we're practicing. So, what did you think when you heard about this TTX GP? To start with, I mean, I'm an old petrol head. I do petrol race and I raced the Max Grand Prix and I thought you know it, it's a weird idea I know nothing about it I met Azhar and had a two tennis demo bike and that got me convinced there's something really in this idea and a uh, few mates we got together and saw that it was feasible and here's the result we've got a bike and we're racing um, I'm only the test rider today the guy that's riding the bike will be uh, Danny Neen um, he's currently in the workshop swapping out the engine of his R6 um, being a local team has the great advantage that I could slip this in on my own insurance policy. So we've got a number plate and insurance for it. So uh, once we get back to Ramsey and uh, the thing's buttoned up and Danny's, Danny's engine will be out on the road to play. Being a, being a local team, what have you had from general feeling of general public? In the main, absolutely positive. I mean, most of the uh, bike racing fans that I've spoken to are, are just fascinated to see how this is going to turn out. Because it's so fresh, so new, nobody. You know, nobody knows what's going to happen. I mean, there's the odd few dribbling Luddites that still want to be <laughs> racing Manx Nortons, you know, but the Manx Grand Prix is there for them and me. You know, I love it. Uh, I'm racing a big La Verda in the uh, Manx this year, so all the polar bear cubs that I saved by racing this, I'll be choking them on my Jota. <laughs> what, what's, what's your feeling on the, the, the concerns about the safety, about the sound? I mean, we can hear a uh, The noise. sound is a big issue. Um, not so much for racing, because the TT Marshals are the best trained cadre of marshals in the world, no question. Um, and uh, we, we have horns fitted to the bike, there's a great scheme that if there's an incident and there's a yellow flag out, the rider sounds the horn intermittently so the marshals know there is a bike coming. I think it's a much more of an issue when these things come to be on the roads. I think you're going to have to educate a lot of pedestrians or flatten them. Okay, great. Thank yeah, you very much. there you go. Thanks.